the Browns going up against the Seahawks. So the time has come. Let's send you out to the stadium and join the two men that will have the Super Bowl call. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to picturesque Miami, Florida. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here between the Cleveland Browns and the Seattle Seahawks. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis, beyond thrilled to be bringing you the Super Bowl. All the pomp, all the circumstance, all the pageantry. It doesn't get any better than this, Parker. I'm loving sharing this booth with you, sharing this moment, this type of a game. For all the teachers who said we'd never make it, we're here. <laughs> and we talk these last couple weeks about the buildup, the anticipation. I think these guys are just ready to get out there and get this thing started. And I know that both coaching staffs have spent considerable time trying to figure accurate. it. Also was a minor league baseball player. Didn't hit very well there. I think he made a great career choice picking football. First carry for Thomas Rawls. Stays on his feet. There goes Thomas Rawls. The 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Thomas Rawls, 77 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. The very first play from scrimmage. How about that? Talk about setting a tone. And people always talk about doing exactly that in the first five minutes of the game, the first offensive and defensive series. Who's going to gain an advantage? Well, we saw exactly what happened there. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to go up top. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Corey Coleman, 28 yards. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. The nation that sets in because uh, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. On second down, Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett from 10 yards out draw plays when they can sell the pass really hard to the defense and then hand it off that's when that play's successful they run with a power back rolls and he will score touchdown seattle thomas right here and it goes on and on here we go now three nine three they'll give crowell another crank and he takes this one in for a brown score Isaiah Crowell, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Browns are back with it, a score. Could not block that one any better. On the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Again, Wilson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. So we've come upon halftime here in Super Bowl 53 as we check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando. He's Do you seriously just skip the halftime? They'll run the option left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. It's their quarterback, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. So they're down in the red zone. They opt to utilize. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Defense. 
And after it. Here we go now. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. That's caught at the one. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Josh Gordon from four yards out. And the Browns are back within a score. And that score there makes this a much more manageable deficit. Agreed, because before that touchdown, this looked like this was about over. Instead, they've got hope. They're back in the game. They feel better about themselves, and now they have a chance to make some more plays. So they're going to go for two, and on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll try and throw for it. Flush to his right. And he will get into the end zone to cut the deficit down to four. Remains in Super Bowl 53. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Seahawks waiting as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return comes to a halt right at the... That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that'll make this a seven portion. And that was incomplete, but I don't know how much of that falls on the quarterback. He was pressured. Brandon, the rush showed up so fast, the quarterback had no chance. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. It's a huge roll of the dice, a two-point conversion to decide the Super Bowl. They'll look to throw, and he's in. The move pays off, and they've taken the lead in this Super Bowl. And boy, you want to talk about guts. It's not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One, to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver. Get out. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Inside the 20 at the 19. And how about this? The dog pound gets the crown. The Cleveland Browns are the Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely... Do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way? Didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.